Hi First Class, Mr. Dunk here, and today we are looking at page 71 in our Planet Maths book, which is a problem-solving page. These are my favourites. Okay, let's zoom in and take a look. Okay, ready? Okay. Number one. To six are riddles, all to do with shapes. You know how much Mr. Don't Like Treadled and Meldum, by the way. Most of you who answered me on Monday with my riddle about which months have 28 days got it correct. Okay, number one. I have no sides and no corners. What shape am I? Well, there was me thinking that all shapes have to have sides and corners. Because all shapes have straight lines in them, don't they? Oh, do they? Well, a semicircle has a curved line, doesn't it? So do other shapes. But what shape doesn't have any straight lines at all? Okay, have a think about that. Number two, I have four sides that are all the same size and four corners. Well, four, if, a, if a shape has four corners, then it has four sides, as it says in the riddle. So think of a shape with four sides. Well, rectangle has four sides. Let's read a bit closer though. All the sides are the same size. Ooh. Hmm. What shape could that be? Hmm. Well, my cushion on my on my couch has four sides, and they seem to be um, same length. And all the corners are a right angle, which means it's perfectly horizontal. Uh, the two, the lines that join the corners are perfectly horizontal and vertical. Hmm. Think about that one. There are actually two answers. If you really know your shapes, I could have that one. Number three, I have three sides and three corners. What shape am I? Oh, three sides and three corners. Well, it's interesting. Lots of things that have uh, three items in them start with the same letters. For example, when I was little, I had a tricycle. A tricycle has three wheels. What type of shape has three sides and three corners? Hmm. Four. I have four sides with opposite sides, the same size. I have four corners. What shape am I? Well, this is similar to number two, but not quite the same. So it has four sides and four corners. The opposite sides are the same, so it'll be a bit like, I suppose, okay, oops. I'm not very good at drawing straight lines on this. Hang on, let's have another go at that. So that sort of means, oh my word, opposite, like that. So those are opposite facing each other, and they're the same uh, length, same size. And then if I did like that, and that, they would be. Now, if I put those onto this shape, maybe like that and that, what shape would I make? Five. Oh, I think I might have given this one away already earlier. Well, maybe you didn't hear me. I am half a circle. What shape am I? Well, I'm just trying to think of different things um, that we have that you can half. Hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of those things start with the same few letters. You might have heard of words like, um, if you do music, semi-quaver, which is half length of a quaver. Yeah, that's a note. Or a semi-final. Uh, would mean, for example, if you had eight teams in a tournament, you reached the semi-final, you were halfway to the final. So think about number five. What is half a circle called? And six, I cannot roll. I look like a dice. What cube am I? A cube or a square? Well, I'll give you a hint with this one. A dice is a 3D object. So which one is a, three, is a 3D shape? A cube or a square? Right, number seven. Well, I think I'm going to let you do seven on your own. You have to start off at the rabbit, and you have to figure your way around this maze. 
get through to the carrot. Um, I love going to mazes. So I'm going to do this one on my own, I think, afterwards and see how long it takes me. And number two, find two cats that are the same and mark them with an X. Well, there's lots of very similar looking cats. I'm just looking straight away and I'm seeing these two guys at the bottom. But Mr. Dunk has put the X's on too quickly because this little guy here has a little white patch. This little guy doesn't. So look closely and find the two cats that look exactly the same. Okay, good luck with your problem solving. So the first six are answers are the names of shapes. Then you have a little map. Then you find the two cats that look the same. See you soon. Bye.